Eliminating waste through getting it right the first time is one of engineering provider Kirby Group's core values. Joining me is Jimmy Kirby, Managing Director at Kirby Group. Thank you so much for having me and thank you so much for being here today. Um, thank talk you me for asking me. <laughs> fine. Talk me through um, Kirby Group's main agenda. Well, our main agenda, um, and certainly why we're here, is to talk to the talk to the customers and see what's important to them, so is that we can best position ourselves uh, throughout Europe, providing mechanical and electrical engineering and construction services. And how do you plan on doing that? So, how do we plan on doing that? So, well, just maximising the value that um, we do, that that we provide through. Uh, so installing our mechanical and electrical systems safely, um, having them in really good condition so that they can be commissioned. Uh, once the commissioners come to take on the system so that they can commission them without any defects, and that's really important to our customers. Uh, we then are positioning ourselves geographically so that we can serve the customers that we work with, for instance in Ireland, in the UK, we're also working in the Netherlands, and we're also working in Sweden and in Finland now. So it's about it's about strengthening our capabilities in all of those geographical areas, so that we can provide the quality of service that the customers are looking for. Are there any markets that you haven't mentioned that you you have your eye on as a company? Uh, so what we what we need to do so a key part of strategy is focus. So at the moment, what we need we we need to stick with Ireland, the UK, the Netherlands, uh, Sweden and Finland until we feel that we have a strong enough capability there to deliver what we need to deliver and then we can start to look at other markets but we must focus first. What are some of the challenges you face in the market that you're already in? So the challenges that we're facing, okay so uh, people is, is a lot of the challenges so both, both people to, to manage the projects and the trades to actually install the services. This is a challenge that uh, I think is industry-wide. Um, uh, many of the countries that we work in are close enough to full employment, so being able to get these people is, um, is a differentiator for us. So we've done a couple of things in-house. We have our own in-house recruitment now, so we've hired recruiters from recruitment companies. So we have Kirby's recruitment, and that's, that has actually been a bit of a game-changer for us, and I think that gives us a little bit of an advantage and that once we can control it ourselves, we can get the kind of people that we need. We also have good training programs. We have um, training programs for our engineers and we have training programs for our trades. So we're continuously training and bringing people through so that they can work in our organization at the different levels that we need. And in terms of um, sustainability across the engineering sector, yes. obviously the big constraint is the demand for so much technology and everything else. How are you combat combating this? How, well, I, I think what, what we need to do so that we don't, uh, so that we, we continue to provide uh, a good quality and level of service to our customers is not take on too much. So it's important not to take on too much. And talking to some of the, the key customers here, they, they've told me that they would rather that we tell them that we can't do a project uh, because we, we actually are at capacity within our capabilities rather than take one on and then leave them down. So that's probably one of the key ways. Of, uh, of controlling that chain. And what are some of the key trends that you've noticed in your industry? The key trends that we've noticed that in the industry? Um, trends in the industry. I, I, I think the, it, it's not really a trend, but I, I, I think just the, the volume of what's been built out there and probably coming back to, to that piece about the trend would be more and more of the sensible organizations who just not take on too much. Uh, that's probably a trend that's there. Um, while others may push on and take on more that they, they can actually handle. So some people are thinking differently now. It's part of focus as well. Yeah. I'm a little curious to know how it all began for Kirby Group. Could you give us a Yeah, nice okay. Brief? So uh, Kirby Group started in, uh, in Ireland uh, in 1964 and it was founded by my father and his brother. So uh, over the last 55 years, uh, the company has grown probably at its fastest rate over the last 10 years. Up to that point in time, it was very slow organic growth, but that worked for everybody. And until we started to internationalize the business, that's really when things started to take off for us. 
So we, we, we started out doing um, electrical services and then we added mechanical services and then we added the, the high voltage, uh, the high voltage and medium voltage. We added the design to, to providing the high voltage and medium voltage. And then geographical expansion was first of all in Ireland and then we moved to the UK, we moved to the UK in 2007 and then we moved to Europe. Uh, and that's more, more recent but successful uh, successful entries into the, uh, the Netherlands, as I said earlier, uh, Sweden and Finland. And what was the thought process behind moving into Europe? So I, I think the, 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 main, the main driver is to get some growth uh, and not be reliant on the Irish economy because if you're only in one country or only in one geography, then if, if, if the levels of investment drop at all from some of the key customers, you have nowhere else to go. So you need to be able to build some pipelines in other countries outside of your own. So we built a pipeline in the UK and then we're building a pipeline in Europe. So it brings resilience to the business. And what is the future for Kirby Group? What does it look like? The future for Kirby Group, uh, yeah, it looks good. It, it looks good. Uh, I, I think, look, we're, we're here, um, a good example, we're here today being interviewed at Data Cloud in Monaco. And what a nice place to be, you can see we have our our flags outside, so that's a statement that we have confidence in ourselves and we have confidence in investment will continue into the future. And in terms of mergers and acquisitions, what is Kirby Group's standpoint? Uh, so we, we prefer the organic growth, so uh, we did make uh, an acquisition back in 2004, that was to add the mechanical services to our business and we've grown that year on year to it's about 50% of our turnover now. So that's been a successful, very successful move for us. I think um, mergers and acquisitions, probably more JVs. So th there's certainly some opportunities for joint ventures with companies um, that are like-minded or provide a slightly different service where a customer may want something done. Uh, we might be able to come together with, uh, with, with like-minded people to provide the, the, the level of service that the customers are looking for. And what is one of the main things that your company provides that you know that your clients really enjoy or really... Uh, yeah, sure, in, in sure, demand? yeah. So delivery, I, I, d delivery. so, so to, 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 to do what we say we do uh, is probably the key one. So uh, safety uh, is, is, um, is very important, is an important value to uh, most of our customers. Um, the, the, the quality of the installation so that it can be commissioned uh, on time and there are no delays and then just delivery so they, they need it done for a certain date they have their own business needs their own business cases so we just need to be able to deliver on time and they, they'd be the key ones really yeah. thank you so much for speaking to me today yeah you're very welcome thank you don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram and visit our website on www.data-economy.com.